show that the set W is a vector space, or find a counterexample. And so here we are given a set W defined by the vector PQRS, where we have minus P plus Q is equal to 2S, and minus 2 times P is equal to negative S plus 3R. So here we go. So we want to recall two important facts here before we begin. The first being that theorem that we just proved, that if matrix A is a M by N matrix, then the null of A is a subspace of Rn. So that's how we're going to get started here. We want to show that the null of A is a subspace of Rn. And then by definition of a subspace, we know that if the null of A is a subspace of Rn, then it's automatically a vector space by definition. So here we go. The first thing that we want to do is rewrite this set as a homogeneous equation if possible. So we want to rewrite W as a homogeneous equation. So as a matrix equation, matrix A times vector X equals a zero vector if possible. So we have vector, or excuse me, set W here is defined. I'm going to bring with this linear system that we're given, let's bring all of our variables to one side. So I have minus P plus Q minus 2S is equal to zero. And we also have minus 2P minus 3R plus s is equal to zero. Now before we go ahead and put this into its matrix, matrix equation form, I want you to remember the vector here. So our vector PQRS has four components. So it can be helpful just to keep yourself straight. If we actually rewrite this, being super duper careful here, and we say minus p plus q plus zero r minus 2s is equal to 0, and then we have minus 2p plus 0q minus 3r plus s is equal to 0. You don't have to do that, but this can be helpful when we convert this to its equivalent matrix equation form. So we can see our standard matrix here, that 2 by 4 matrix, minus 1, 1, 0, negative 2 in the first row. The second row, we can see negative 2, 0, minus 3, 1, and this is multiplied by that vector, P, Q, R, S, and this is equal to the 0 vector in R2. So we end up with matrix A times some vector X is equal to the 0 vector, and we're able to conclude using theorem 1 that therefore, since matrix A is a 2 by 4 matrix, then by the theorem, we are able to conclude that W is equal to the null of A, or W defined by the null of A is a subspace of Rn. And specifically, not just of R. And put R4 here. And so from here we can make our big finale conclusion that therefore since we know that every subspace is a vector space of itself, or a larger space, So since every subspace is a vector space of at least itself, and since we know that W is a subspace of R4, we can finally conclude that W is a vector space. Woohoo! And this is our beautiful final answer.